Hello oh guys, Wayne Crow here. Today I want to talk about risk versus reward. So when I join a new program, coaching course, or anything along those sort of lines, uh, there's a number of questions I ask myself. So the first one is obviously the risk versus the reward. If um, something pays back $10 um, and costs me $100 to get in, obviously I'm not going to partake in that program. If something um, costs me $10 to get in, pay me back $100,000, then obviously there's a big reward. Um, but the risk, I'll then look at the risk and decide on it, I'll try and do some business projections based on their model, and I think the risk is just too high for me, um, and I won't do it. So there, there's quite a few programs out there that are like that, that have been like it, and will you know, there's always these programs. You see the poos all the time where people come along and say, turn your $37 into $25,000. I know that's not possible, and so do you. So unless someone of some standard says it, then I wouldn't even look into those types of programs. And then there's the other type of programs um, where, you know, you can double your money in 40 days. So I might look into those and I think, well, I can double money in 40, 40 days, I'm 20% sure this is going to work. Am I willing to put some money in and lose it? That's my own risk versus reward calculation. And I know we've, I've done a few blog posts about that before. The other thing I look for is longevity and see if I'm in at the right time. So those two kind of go in hand in hand. Because if you're in at the right time, it normally means you're in right at the beginning. Um, so there wouldn't be any longevity there. But if you're in at the right time and you can tell that, um, you know, you can bring a few people on, if it's a network marketing or MLM type program or a referral program, you can get in first and you can bring people on. So you're in at the right time. For longevity, you know, there's some programs that are around three months and they're gone. If you find out or decide to join a program a bit later on, say a year and a half, two years after it's live, then it shows it's got some longevity so you can kind of put your effort in and put your time into it knowing that it should be around for another two or three years for you to get your reward out of. Um, then you look at the amount of work involved. So obviously if something doubles your money in 40 days but you have to work eight hours a day to double your money, then it may not be worth you doing. And um, you've got to try and judge the amount of work yourself because obviously some may take an hour a day, some may take 10 ads a day, for example, Future Ad Pro is an example. Uh, that takes about two, three minutes. Some, you know, you may have to promote it to make your money. If you're not good at promoting, you may have to learn a whole, a whole brand new skill, which, you know, some people are up for learning new skills. Some people just plain don't want to promote. So you've got to kind of look at it and see what work is involved and the amount of time that is involved in that as well. And then you look at things such as have they paid on time? Um, can you do some background checks on the owners? Can you see if they've got a limited company? Not that really matters, but that just helps verify the owners. And you can see the address of the company, see if it matches up with the website. You can kind of do sense checks on things. So you can, um, maybe if they've got a phone number, you can even ring them up. You can Google um, their address, see where they turn out on maps. So if they're, uh, you know, if they're pretending to be a big business and they're in a council house, then chances are that there's something a bit fishy there and you've got to kind of make your own judgment to look at that. If um, you know people that are connected with them or they've gone to see them, that really helps a lot. I've seen their business in the way they operate. That helps a lot. So all these things, um, you know, you don't have to do all this work. You can find out people that have done it. Um, you can see who else is in that program, who promotes them. That often tells you a lot. So some of the bigger guys, if they promote them, that should give you a bit of trust. But again, just because they promote them doesn't mean it's going to be around for 10 years or 10 weeks or 10 months. No one um, knows with these programs because at the end of the day, these programs are just a normal business and normal business can be the best run business in the world. But if an external factor comes into force, for example, and um, PayPal could shut them down, then no one can do anything about that. The business could, that goes down the drain. So even though you can do all these checks and you can have the best business in the world, these businesses can still go bust. So you've got to be really wary of that you've also got to look at um their future plans are they up to date with technology do they um kind of try and stay ahead of everyone else what are their usps the unique selling um position proposition compared with everyone else in the market with a similar business do they really stand out as something slightly different so all these things together you've got a kind of a lot of people don't do this when they join a program they see someone promoting it they look at it don't really understand it they join it 
put a bit of money in and they're kind of just sticking the finger in the air. Whenever I look into a program, a course, um, you know, anything like that, even um, a business, if I'm looking into starting a new business, I will do my figures, um, I'll do projections, I'll do all this analysis, and then I'll decide whether I should join that program, business, um, start the business, even when you're entering a new business and you come up with a business idea, uh, you've got to do all these things, you've got to do this um, analysis on your, you know, you've even got to go to a, as far as look at your strengths and weaknesses, does this program fit your strengths and weaknesses, or is it something you can work on to make the program work so i'm a great believer in personal development i push myself every day um for example one of the things i want to do involves me public speaking so it's taken me a while to get round to the idea that i'm going to have to do public speaking um but i'm willing to do that because it helped me reach my goals um and that will help me tick stuff more from the list i want to do so a program not suiting your strengths isn't a problem if you're willing to work on them okay so Hopefully, this quick video um, has enabled you to see what you should look at when you're looking at a program, decide on whether to join a program. Um, always do your own research, okay? Google, everything's on Google. You can Google it, you can ask your friends, ask people connected to it, um, and make sure it's something you want to join. And then you join it, all right, with the, um, the risk versus reward mentality that you have attached to it. So if you're kind of... And think well, I can double money in 40 days. Um, I've got fifty thousand dollars spare, but I I'm not all that confident it's going to work. So you put five thousand dollars in that. That's the kind of thing I do. You know, don't um, use all your money <laughs> um, to put into this program. See, far too many people join the program expecting it to make them rich, when in reality it won't. It's, these things take work. Um, they expect to make them rich, so they put all their spare money in including their bill money and things and that if it, you know the business doesn't work the way you think they can't get the people on board the business goes under all them sort of things um then you're just not covered you're just going to lose your money and i don't expect anyone to ever do that only um put in what you're very comfortable with what your kind of logic tells you not what you're feeling so act on your logic i hope that this video helps if you've got any questions um, ask in my Facebook group if you um, are on YouTube or um, Facebook make sure you like the pages my groups you like uh, YouTube videos and make sure you subscribe to my blog by the push um, notifications or even sign up to the blog at, so you can get up-to-date information as new programs come out as things happen as um, advancement in any of these programs or any internet marketing whatsoever and I, I'll help you as much as I can take care bye bye